Today on Focal Point, we have a special guest whose savvy coaching has led to an unbelievable season for one of our teams here at CCP. We have interviews with team members and a Valentine's Day special. Stay with us. Hi, welcome to Focal Point on CCP TV, the educational channel of Community College of Philadelphia. I'm Darlene Muntz, a student in the communication arts curriculum here at Community College of Philadelphia. Today I'm here with the head coach of the CCP men's basketball team, Joe Rome. Mr. Rome has a very close relationship with the school. Not only is he an alumnus of the college, he was also once a student athlete playing basketball for the Colonials as well. Mr. Rome also served as the assistant coach for the team for five years ranging from 1995 to 2000. While he's been head coach here, the team came from a 500% record to a 13-1 record halfway through this season. They're currently ranked third in the country. Welcome, Joe. Thanks for having me. So, 13 and 1. How does that make you feel right now? We're doing well. It makes me feel good. The team's playing hard. We're playing together as a unit, which is important. And uh, that's really the reason why we're where we are today. What has helped you guys build a winning culture? Well, we were able to bring in some good kids uh, who were doing well academically. Okay. Uh, this is uh, four guys on our team are currently second year guys, okay. which really helps when you're in a junior college. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as basketball wise, we play really good defense. Good. Has being a former player and assistant coach of the team helped you with your role as the head coach? Absolutely. Uh, being a player and, and a former assistant at a junior college really uh, helps you transition into being a head coach okay. because junior college is a lot different than a uh, four-year school. You know, you really have to rely on starting a new team every year. Uh, it's, it's been good for us so far because we have some second-year guys returning. Okay. But, you know, playing and coaching under Larry Connie has really helped me make the transition into being a head coach. Okay, good. What type of characteristics do you look for in a student athlete? Well, the first thing we look for are guys that are going to be good students. Okay. And then we look for guys that are really going to buy into playing as a team. You know, it helps, uh, you know, we really look for guys that can play with town as well. Okay. But, you know, guys that are really going to buy into your system is what makes teams win. And, and that's the type of guys we look for. And we've been pretty successful over the last couple of years bringing in guys like that. Good. How do you help students stay focused and doing well in school? Over the uh, athletic department, we okay. uh, require guys to go to study hall for okay. five hours a week. You know, we, okay. we try to get them any tutoring if they need it. Uh, but we really stay on top of them about going to class and keeping up on their grades because, you know, it, we want to see guys go on. And the one thing we've been able to do is anybody that has done their job in the classroom okay. and has played here for two years, mm -hmm. we've been able to place in four-year schools, and that's one of our ultimate goals. Good. I read that your team is like a family. Can you comment on that? We, we, we are. We really stick together. You know, we have fun when we go on the road. Okay. And, uh, you know, I try to be a father figure to some of these guys. And, uh, you know, my, like I said, my goal is to see them go on okay. to a school and then go on and, and get a good job and have a good career and raise a family and come back to the school and, and, you know, really seeing guys go on to be successful is, is really what coaching is all about. The team is ranked third in the National Junior Collegiate Athletics Association. What does that honor mean to you? It's great. It's a good feeling to see how we progressed over the last couple of years. Okay. This, this is our second year in the NJCAA, wow. so to take it to that level is really great. Although our ultimate goal is to win a national championship in March. So, okay. you know, when we get to that goal, we'll really be satisfied in the end. Wow. Thank you for being with us. We're rooting for the Colonials to win the championship this year. Thank you for having me. 
Now let's hear what some of the players have to say. For the last 10 years, CCP has been able to keep up recruiting by going to high school games, visiting players on, during off season, being able to contact people that played previous years or are still in high school, give them a chance if they're not being recruited by a top school to come to community and be able to get that chance to shine again. They've it, it been strong for so long, for 10 years, because like they have great players throughout every year. You know, they go and find the best players throughout the whole entire city. And I feel like I'm one of them players, but I, I couldn't do it without my teammates. And that kind of gave me like the energy of being a, a strong leader. Most people, you know, they work, go to school, and they can't balance the time to just play a sport. So being able to do something that I love motivates me to just keep pushing and keep fighting. I'm on my game at the LeBron. Like, he, he, he could be a small forward, point guard, shooting guard, whenever he would feel like it. You know, I take pride in that because, like, he's somebody that's just, like, that's magnificent. I'm on my game after a lot of diverse guards, so, like, Jason Kidd, Baron Davis, different people like that, Gilbert Arenas, because I got to make outside shots to spread the floor out for my team. I like to try to bring a lot of versatility to the game. I moved my game after Allen Iverson, one of my favorite point guards, and also Rajon Rondo. His ability to pass the ball is unbelievable. So I, try, I tend to watch their games and try to mimic the things that they do. I do have what it takes to compete at the next level, you know, because every coach is looking for that, that player, that strong, well player, that defensive player, that offensive player, that player that can play all around. And I feel like I'm one of them players that can do that. After I graduate, my plans are to continue my education, and if I'm able to play basketball somewhere else, continue to play basketball. You have to do have what it takes to compete at four-year university. Community college prepared me very well, so hopefully I get a good look for the next level. I believe I have what it takes to play at a four-year uh, university. I believe I had the skills and the assets to be able to contribute to any team that wants me. That was exciting, wasn't it? Let's try to keep a special place for the Colonials in our hearts. And while we're on the topic of hearts, let's hear what some of the students here at CCP think about Valentine's Day. I just know about a Cupid in the heart. Some guy named Sir Valentine. You have to go out and buy a box of candy and uh, a box of chocolate. I just eat all the chocolate. I invite that special someone to my house and we have a good night. Well, I'm single. Either I'm alone or out with my mom or my friends or family doing something. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Go out to a nice candlelit romantic dinner. The best gift I ever gotten on Valentine's Day was I got a candy gram in high school. Hard to say, I, I barely got any. Wow, it was a flower. I never got a Valentine's Day gift, like ever. Money. <laughs> to be honest, a birthday card, because my birthday is right after Valentine's Day, and I got this one really good birthday card from someone. I think that was the best. Uh, the best gift I ever given probably was the biggest bear I could find. Flower, take them to the movies. Nothing. You know, elementary school, when you give a little box of candy to the, everybody in your class? A gigantic teddy bear. The best gift was the gift of myself. Cupid, I would get Cupid to make, hmm, David Beckham fall in love with me because I think he is so hot. Kerry Washington. Denzel Washington. <laughs> Rihanna. Oh, because I'll see her. I'll choose Oprah. Well, I would, I would love to wake up with Beyonce on my side. Yeah, that'd be for real, They're like a dream come true. Mm, to me, Valentine's Day is really important. Time uh, to say I love you to that special someone. I would like to spend your time with your loved one, change your gifts, you know, your girlfriend, new girlfriend, new boyfriends, you know. It's not really that big of a deal for me. I don't think it's that important, but I, everybody gets hype about it, so. It's fun. On a scale from zero to like 10, i say it's like a one. Scale of one to 10, I think Valentine's Day would be like a three. It's very important, Just like, you know, especially if you have a wife and she really like wants to be surprised at Valentine's Day. 
My worst Valentine's Day experience happened to be when I was downtown the Liberty Place and like the crazy candy lady was chasing me with her she kisses. Not that, that she was actually trying to give me like a real kiss, but it was just the chocolate. I never really had a bad Valentine's experience because I never really had a Valentine's to consider one. It might be this one. Because <laughs> I'm single, I don't have any, you know, I'm new here. So this one, I'm, maybe this one will be my worst Valentine's Day ever. My girlfriend dumped me on Valentine's Day for my best friend. I think that was the worst thing ever. One of my favorite love songs. Love is a splendor thing. <laughs> DJ, won't you play this girl a love song? I don't know. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, yeah. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I need love and affection. <laughs> um, would I like to give anyone a special happy Valentine's Day shout out? Maybe my mom, Patrice. Johanna, Johanna, she's on my track team. I would like to give a, a shout out to somebody special, but I won't because it's a weird situation, so I'm not even going to go there. To my mom. My parents, because they like the only people that I really love. I'd like to say happy Valentine's Day to Sylvia. I love to give a special Valentine's shout out to my girl Jasmine. You know what I mean? You've been there for me. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoyed that. Well, that's it for today. I want to thank my guest, Joe Rome, for being here today. And I want to thank our viewers for tuning in. You have been watching Focal Point, the Community College of Philadelphia's magazine show on CCP-TV, the educational channel of Community College of Philadelphia. All segments for Focal Point are produced by the students in the digital video production curriculum. I'm Darlene Muntz, a student in the Communication Arts Curriculum. See you next time.